The opinions and views expressed in Political Talk belong to its commentators and are not those of Nextar Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. Welcome to Political Talk with Democratic commentator Dora Leland and Republican commentator Tom Santoli. I heard chanting from some in the crowd, get his gun and kill him with his own gun. A House committee this week rolled back the calendar to January 6th of the attack of the U.S. Capitol using never-before-seen video footage and gripping accounts recounted in horrifying detail from police officers who faced those rioters. One woman in a pink MAGA shirt yelled, you hear that, guys? This voted for Joe Biden. No one had ever, ever called me a while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. No question, you couldn't have watched that and said, what a horrific event that took place on, on January 6th. Uh, I mean, I know that there's that continued uh, attempt by some people to play what happened, to play down what happened on January 6th. And, and quite frankly, that's mission impossible. I mean, if you watch the videos of what took, took place, I mean, there were a lot of videos that were made that day. You watch that, and then you hear the testimony of four uh, police officers who were extremely emotional, distraught, uh, feared for their lives, and they were just, you know, several of many. I just would say the one concern that I still have, and I talked about this last week because I think it's all part of the big picture, is that what did we know prior to the event? If the chief of the, if, if the police chief of the Capitol Police goes and tells the sergeant at arms uh, of the House of Representatives uh, on numerous occasions that their intelligence shows that something's going to happen on that day, the day that they came to certify the Electoral College election. I can't understand for the life of me why something wasn't put in place to try to prevent this. It doesn't change anything about the event, even though it may have changed the event, that the National Guard was there. They asked for help. They didn't get it. The testimony was heartbreaking. It was hard to watch. Um, you know, we had all seen the footage of the day, but I don't think any of us really knew just what the officers went through. And hearing their own personal accounts was, was heartbreaking. I think, if anything, it really shined a light on just how uh, chaotic and violent that day was. Hearing them say that, you know, they were dragged into a crowd, beaten, electrocuted, sprayed with chemicals. Um, I think what we can gather from their testimony, though, and it was quite uh, unanimous, is that all of them pointed the finger at former President Trump. They all said that the, the, the rioters were saying that they were coming because of him, that they were following out his orders. And I agree with Tom. You know, the people that were involved in this should be should be held liable. They should be made responsible. That will do it for this edition of Political Talk. For the very latest edition of Political Talk and past episodes, simply log on to our website, mytwintears.com. I'm Zach Wheeler, and we'll be right back.